recording. And what we're going to do is open up After Effects as a part of the Adobe suite, like Premiere, After Effects, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Flash, Fireworks. What else is there? A couple others. All right, but uh, After Effects is really a great, powerful uh, program. So what we're going to do is go ahead, move that out of the way. And what I'm going to do is import my movie. So make sure we're in After Effects. Import the file. And this is something I grabbed off of YouTube. And uh, we're going to go to uh, oops, not that. Okay, so I import this movie. Hopefully it has sound. So you can see there's a soundtrack in here with the green, so that's good. So I go ahead and hit uh, the green button so it squeezes it in nicely. So you're gonna go down here to none and you're gonna put this movie track down here and the track line. You can hit play. You can see it's rendering real time. Probably the sound is not gonna uh, check out here. All right. So what we want to do is make a movie out of this. And to make a movie, you want to go to Composition, Make Movie. If you don't do that, you won't be able to kick this stuff out. All right, so we go back here, Screen Recording, and we go to our Render Queue, which is here in the bottom. I'll pull this up so you can see it. And right now we have Best Settings. So you can click on that, pull that up. We want two files. We want Best Setting, and we also want uh, an, a sound file. So right now, we have it clocked at uh, 60 frames per second. So we don't want that. We want to knock this down to 24 because that's our frame rate in Maya. All right, so we go ahead and close this out. Hit OK. We go to lossless. We do want a QuickTime movie for our first one. So let's go ahead and keep that. We'll hit OK. And we hit render. Okay, so that is our movie file. It gets very important that you have that at 24 frames per uh, second because it won't work um, if we have it at 60 or 30 or whatever because Maya wants specifically 24 frames per second. All right, so what we want to do is make another movie. Let's go ahead and make sure your uh, movie is selected. And we're going to do make another movie, make movie. And this time, we're going to go to our best settings. Again, make sure you do uh, 24. Hit OK. And this time, instead of a QuickTime, we want an AIFF. That is our sound file. All right, so we hit OK, hit Render. OK, sound file is really quick, so it doesn't uh, take that long. So now we're going to go into Maya. And we're going to add all this stuff in. All right. We've got special effects on our side here, it's great. So, so what we're going to do is we've got 37-2, 30-1, I think these are our air recordings, 37, let's see, we've got recordings everywhere. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the 38 underscore 1 movie, we've got our uh, sound file. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that in here. And you want to go ahead and check to make sure that's working. Alright, so right off the bat we have 24 frames per second, which is just one second. So we need to expand that out to 200 or however long that you think your animation is. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and create a polygon plane. Like so. Hit 5. E. We'll go ahead and rotate this up. We can even squish it down a little bit. Like so. You may want to do this mathematically so it's a straight 90 degrees if you want. Alright, so now what we want to do is put on the surface here on our Lambert a film. So we're going to go down here to our color, go to our checkerboard, and we're going to go instead of a Material, we're going to say movie. All right, so we're going to go to our folder. And I'm going to go to my desktop. 
I go to my last, maybe I'm not sure which one it was, but I'm sure this is the last one it had, the 24 frames per second. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, open. All right. I'll go down here. Also, this is very, very, very important. Is so everyone watching? Make sure you use image sequence. If you don't, the movie will not show up. The other magic thing is number six. If you don't hit six, it'll just be gray here. So hit six, it'll show off your image. All right, right now it is crop. So we do need to go into Windows, UV Texture, and you can see it's cropped. You guys have a little bit of experience with the UV mapping, so this shouldn't be that hard. Just hit W and stretch this out, okay? That'll stretch out your scene here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on here. Let's play it, see if it's working or not. This stuff is pretty, pretty packed in here. Let's see if I can get to the play, play tab. So, very tiny. Okay. So you can see that the mouse and the sound are playing in sync. Okay. So make sure that is that is working correctly. Then you can import your raw Blake file, the MA file, and dump that into here, and you can start animating. And with your character, you're going to start working with the uh, belly button up. And I'll show you that after this tutorial. But you can start working on the arms. You just basically hit E to rotate them and hit S to keyframe them out, all right? So this uh, character here, or this person here, doesn't move that much with his shoulders, but there are rings on Blake. Let's say if the character is slumped over or moving around, you can definitely animate that, all right? So let's go ahead, uh, the remainder of the class, go ahead and try to find a video clip, import it into, Ma uh, not Maya, import it into After Effects, do your processing, so it's 24 frames per second, and also kick it into Maya, drag your audio here, also make a plane, import your movie into uh, that plane and make sure they are in sync. All right, we'll try to finish this up today and then after that, import Blake.